The batch exporter in Camtasia now supports creating multiple files from Marcus. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, this is as of January 23rd, 2024, and this is Camtasia 2023.4.2. Now, the batch exporter now supports create multiple files from Marcus. Now, I hope that they add this in the future in the video uh, settings for the new exporter. Uh, but let me show you how you do it with the batch exporter. Now, for those of you that don't know how to add markers uh, to a video in Camtasia, I'll just add this to the timeline. And then you'll see this drop down here. And it shows you the markers or the quiz if you want to create a quiz, uh, if you're hosting uh, videos that need uh, questions to be answered. So the marker is here. It's already selected. And to activate it by the keyboard is Control plus M. So it's active. And when you hover over the timeline here, you'll see a plus. Now, this plus works in two ways. If it's at the top here, if you move your media down here, then that is not uh, going to reflect on the media because it's on the timeline. So you see what happens. But when you add the marker here, if you move your media, it moves with that particular marker. So it's important to know how those two work. Uh, you can just add some more here. And you'll see that on this side, you can now name your marker. You can uh, click on this, name it, and click on this and name it as well. So that's how you add markers and the different types of markers, the timeline markers and the, the markers on the media. So if you don't, if you want your changes to be available, uh, that is uh, for the markers to go along with the video, then add them to the video. Now, let's batch export or create multiple files from the batch export. The batch export normally is just under file and batch export but in the latest version it's also under export batch export so i'll click on that and from here you can add a project i already have a project here uh, called export markers and i'll just drag and drop it right there so it's inside there uh, from here the, uh, the next thing you need to do is just click on this particular expansion to, uh, to view additional batch export options click on that and then click on create multiple files from markers. Once you do that, you need to set the output location where you want to save your file. And I'll do that by clicking on this and then click on select folder. I've actually selected the same folder uh, as this. And if you're satisfied with everything, all you need to do is just click on start export. I'm not sure why it's, uh, we have this particular warning. Uh, videos exported with this preset will not include interactive features, table of contents, captions, quizzes, and hotspots. Okay, that is what it means. So let me just click on start export. And it's actually going to, uh, to split up this particular video based on the markers I set right there. And you'll see that we now have a new folder here. If I scroll down slightly and just double click, you'll see the first video from that marker is here, the second one just coming right inside as uh, we are watching this one. And then we're almost done because this particular one had like four markers uh, for that particular uh, test video. So it's almost done. There we go. And once it's done, you'll see finished and you'll see the four videos are based on what you have. So that is done. We've exported our video using the batch exporter and also created multiple files from markers. This is highly welcome and it's something new. So if you have a ton of projects uh, are with you and you've already set up the markers, all you need to do is just pull up the batch export, put your files here, make sure you select uh, the create multiple files from markers and it's going to do the rest for you. I wish uh, it had uh, like the status of how long it's going to take, like they've added in uh, the normal rendering of a video and also to also include uh, the uh, export uh, that is create multiple files from markers in uh, the new uh, file export options, maybe somewhere here, like in the encoding or whatever, so that we can actually check it if we want to uh, do uh, the rendering with the multiple files from markers right inside here, because uh, this particular option, the legacy local file is going away, and that is where we actually get this warning. Uh, and this is actually a uh, feature is available under video settings here. So that is uh, the batch export option uh, with the new 
functionality of creating multiple files from Macas. I hope this video is of value to you. Thanks for watching.